verdict is that I broke the tip of that finger just on the edge there, or on that side, I'm not sure. Where are we going, everybody? Road trip. <laughs> Road trip. <laughs> Got enough pillows and blankets over there. Um, yeah, we're going camping. Just a spontaneous, random. Hey! Three nights of camping. <laughs> Look at that one. Where is she? Spot the Esme. And I love that you guys are losing your minds in the comments right now. I'm looking at them. I'm getting my fill of internet before we go on holidays here. But like all these comments about how Dean is finally going to make an appearance. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm unplugging for like three days. I can't believe it. I don't actually know how this is going to go. There's that guy. So I'm taking all the internet in. I'm trying to just reply to a few comments and let you guys know that I'm heading out of town town for a few days and yeah super excited anyways we're off oh she's asleep he's not ah. we're coming out of the storm you can see blue skies over there so this is a self-serve place to get your campfire wood so dad's gonna get a couple of bags. Look at you, a couple of bags of wood, because my friends, we, look, there is our destination. We're like five minutes away. I guess we don't need these on like that. And look at that country road. Isn't that beautiful? All right, we're scoping out the beach. We think we've discovered it. Let's check it out. Hello. Oh, yes. What do you think, kid? That's what I'm talking about. What do you think? Oh, beautiful. Little water, baby. <laughs> we have arrived, so let's go put our marking on this land. I own this bitch. There's my tiny people. I spot a wild dean. You can go wherever you want. You guys can walk down the you can walk down the road if you want. Hey, yeah. are those forest children? They're little forest like little fairies. Forest, children. forest fairies. Wow, forest fairies. It's very wet, but we are gonna look, we're gonna look for a stick. Okay, did you find one? What? Yeah. Okay, take my hand. Why? Well, don't shake it. You're gonna get us all wet. They are. Plants are alive. That's why they use sunlight and water to grow. Isn't nature incredible? Wow. Can you see the steam coming off the tree? Because it just rained. Swimming in this beautiful water with my babies. How beautiful is that, you guys? Like, Canada is stunning. <clears throat> Water's coming in. Woo! I'm thinking he's having a good time. How's it going, Jack? Good? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Coming at you from the tent. How are things going, Jack? Got some toilet paper? No. Can you hear the pitter-patter of rain? Honk, honk, honk. Honk, honk, honk. Well, we went swimming and it was amazing. And it's just started to sprinkle. It's not terrible, but you're not like sitting outside. So anyways, that's what's up. I will say this, if it rains tomorrow night, we probably will leave the next day. Because <laughs> it's two, three nights in the rain. But we have a pretty cool setup. So we have this tent. It actually hooks on to the back of our van. And there's like another mattress right there in the back of the van, which is kind of cool. So we're just hanging out. I'm trying to see if I got anything fun on my phone to entertain Jack. Just hanging out. Just hanging out. Just hanging out. Yeah. Day two, we're ready to rock and roll. Did you fall down? Let's go get dad and Jess, Esme. So here's what MacGyver rigged up today. Put our little teepee on the beach and a little duvet cover to make, you know, the outside part. And yeah, there you go. Little baby minion. Them in the water. It's a beautiful day, 
and it's friggin' early. It's probably like 10 and we've been here for an hour. We were up really early, but I think we went to bed really early as you do with camping. We are taking a little break in our tent. I'm, of course, I'm all worried about the kids getting sunstroke. It's me. I'm like the little Miss Dainty Flower of the family, so. <laughs> right? Right. Jean's gone to get me a hat and Hi. water. It rained a little bit last night, so that was a little hard to take. It was so humid. Cheeky bear! Cheeky bear! But, um, for sure I can do another night. We'll see about the third night. I'm not entirely sure. Cheeky night! Cheeky night! Esme, eyes on the road, eyes on the road. Okay. We're at a place called Inver Huron and it's part of Ontario Parks. And this is just like this cute little park. Check it. The kids are going nuts, so we're like, we have to leave the campsite for a little bit. And so we're at the park, but it's just been such a beautiful day. So anyways, playtime. Whoa. Hi Dean, there he is. He started the fire. We're counting how many seconds before we get asked to do something. It's been 14. Well, not much changes when you're camping. You still get your strawberries, right? Strawberries and coffee. I must admit the coffee's not as good when you're camping, but you know what, hits the spot. What's your story? So my dad is the kid and he's a cheeky buddy. Mm. And How he, come he's cheeky? Because he doesn't follow mommy's rules. That is true. Who? Daddy. Who? <laughs> exactly. Daddy does his own thing. So here's our setup, by the way. Tent attached to the van, which we're not sure we love it. The concept is interesting because you have like this double layer living situation, but the van gets really hot. Having my nice morning coffee. And so we've done two nights here on the campsite. And I think two nights is good. We had three nights booked, but we both said like, let's just see how we sleep last night. Dean slept better. I did not. I had both kids in the bed with me and it's not a very big bed, so that was awkward. And I have like this weird eye situation. I don't know. But we're gonna go have a nice day at the beach because we had such a nice time yesterday. Even though I burnt my butt and my back. Mom fail. The kids didn't burn. Well, Jackie got a little bit too much sun under the eyes, but otherwise everyone's fine. But yeah, we're gonna go hang out at the beach for the day and then once we're done, like we did six hours at the beach yesterday, and then when we were done, Jack fell asleep in the car for three, and then Esme fell asleep for two in a bed or something. So I think we'll just head home and the kids can nap the whole way home. And we'll spend tomorrow night, no, tonight, in our own beds, so that'll be nice. But yeah, it's been a really nice trip. It's nice to just be out here. Like, look at this awesome trees, smells good, it's nice. This might be my favorite part, don't tell anybody. Mm, that sucks. Why did I bring so much stuff? Day two at the beach. We're getting started. Daddy's building the teepee, and it's really wavy today. Woo! Go, go, go! Ooh, the wind is chilly. Fall is on the horizon, people. Don't you can just feel there's a coolness in the air? It's happening. And isn't it interesting, like school is starting up for everybody, and the family, by the way, is playing in the park. Did I show you enough glimpses of Dean this week? It's gonna be a slow introduction, so I know we're excited, but it's like it's like feeding a chipmunk from your hand. You can't you can't make sudden movements, otherwise you're gonna scare him off. So <laughs> So here we are, the verdict is that I broke the tip of that finger just on the edge there, or on that side, I'm not sure, and I have to keep it bandaged like this for a week. Certainly not the best news, but certainly not the worst. Like nobody had to push on it when I had the x-ray, I was like, oh lord help me like to put it straight, but it's okay, and it's actually not hurting that bad anymore. I think just the fear of it when it happened, I was like, oh F my life, how am I supposed to do anything, but it's not so bad. So anyway, Dean and the kids are coming to pick me up and then I'll get to go home because I am an ice cube. It was freezing in there. Holy moly. 
Anyway, that's it. Exciting Sunday. Mm -hmm. What happened to me today? I felt I hurt my finger. Yeah, and we're gonna show that in one second. I hurt my finger, doing the best underdog ever. So here's what happened. We were at the park, and I put Esme in the baby swing. And that's how we wanted the best underdog ever. She said, yes, I do. And I went to push her, and as I pushed her, I went underneath, like, on the right side, and my finger got stuck in something. I still don't know what it was stuck in. And I pulled it as gravity was pulling her back. I went like this. So right here, like, where the knuckle is, there, that line, I cracked the bone. Just a little crack. Like, it broke. It broke. It's not a crack. And so they said, I gotta keep it taped like this for, like, a week at least, probably two weeks, and then we'll go from there. So that was exciting. Jack, say hi. Dad, look at it. Whoa, who is that? I don't know. Jack. Um, Jack. Um, say hi, Jack. Jack was drawing, so. Jack, say hi. Oh, don't put your hand on it. As you know, my sweet little mama is, well. Dad. Injured. My my mom is red a crisp. Well, red is a crisp. I know I burnt my. Oh gosh. My my mom is a, like a little teeny tiny little tomato. <laughs> That's true. She's been my little nurse putting aloe on my back, and what is happening here? Breathing into my into my eye. Um, <laughs> Papalo, should we read it? Oh my god, I had a real sinky bone. Yeah, Esme's been putting on aloe on my back. I don't need a papalo. Okay, grapalo. And papalo. Okay, see if I can eat something real quick here. MacGyver back there is making me a splint for my fingers so that I can cover the tip of my fingers. So yeah, good husband. Ouch, I put a book on the head. Book on the head. Hello, Monday. I feel sorry for myself, like I really do. My finger is just, oh, I cannot point it down. I feel like when I point it down and the blood rushes to that area, there's some throbbing that takes place. It's not fun. And what is that? Oh, that's coffee. I'm making a coffee. Coffee making area is going down right now. And I did do some tidying today. Like I did surface kind of, not this area so much, but I did clean, I swept the floors, I threw on some laundry, I'm trying to stay on top of laundry, because don't you feel like if you do one or two loads a day or every other day, it just makes it more manageable or something? I don't know. Um, I'm itchy like you don't even know. My back is finally turning a like cherry brown, but at least it's turning brown. But oh my God, last night, I was actually getting the kids to scratch my back. Like usually I don't ask them to do things like that, but I was like, please scratch my back. So I am wrapping up this week's vlog. There was a huge bunch of camping um, footage and so I'm not gonna add too much more to the to the plate because that's, that's a lot for you guys to watch for one week. Um, but next week is gonna be certainly back to school focused. We are going and getting a few things for Esme for school, getting that ready. She starts school a very soon, like just after Labor Day, so I'm really excited for her. And I got the little note in the mail today about her possibly taking the school bus, like what? So there's a lot of things to think about. And I'm looking to start our wake up routine coming soon. Sorry, I had a big yawn, not crying. Um, not yet, but you know there will be tears, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, just getting into the mode of getting ready for school and doing all of that, because it's not just Esme, I mean, it's us as a family and we are definitely late risers most of the time. So it's gonna be a big adjustment for us, that's for sure. One thing I wanted to ask you, if you made it this far in the video, especially if you're doing back to school too, what are some things that you definitely don't skimp on for back to school? Let me know in the comments below. If you're a mom, if you are like doing back to school, let me know, what am I forgetting here? All right, you guys, that's it. I'm gonna wrap it up here because I'm gonna have a coffee and sit down and be mopey because that's how I'm feeling. It's time for me to pour the coffee water into the coffee situation, so please subscribe if you're new. That's great. Okay, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.